Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video, and today I'll be presenting Escocia Passport Visa Infinite Credit Card. This is a new credit card and it was actually just released uh, last Monday which was March 12th and I called Scotia and asked them to send me one and I received it yesterday which was March 17th so they were very fast uh, sending me this card and today I'll be opening up this card and I'll talk about all the benefits and features and uh, stick to the end of the video because I'll be talking about whether uh, how does this compare card compare with the BMO World Elite Mastercard and whether you should be keeping uh, this card which is the Scotia Visa Infinite uh, Passport card or you should be keeping the BMO World Elite Mastercard so let's start with the unboxing so this is the full package or envelope I received from Scotia and this is the back side of the envelope and uh, let's take out the whole uh, thing so I'll just take up everything from here and it, as you can see that you know it's empty there's nothing here so let's just uh, put, put this aside here so this is the introductory letter uh, which should have the credit card inside here so I'll just uh, set it aside for now and uh, let's take a look at other uh, the literature or brochure what they have so I'm going to start from the bottom and here we just have a revolving credit agreement so there's not much in here it just tells you about all the agreements and uh, everything you have with this card like the credit limit uh, the applying your payment and changing your address and all sort of stuff so we don't need to go through, the, go through it so I'll just uh, put it here and then we have here compliant resolution so this is what what to do in case you have a compliant or you have a complaint or you have anything and it just uh, spills out everything step by step so there's not much in here so I'll just uh, set it aside for now let's put it here and then looks like we have the literature itself and let's go through the literature because uh, we need to uh, check a lot of things uh, what type of uh, benefits and features this card is offering so the name of the card is Scotia Bank Passport Visa Infinite and here's the front page so it says packed and loaded with travel benefits and rewards thank you for choosing a Scotia Passport Visa Infinite Scotia has another credit card which is the Scotia uh, American Express uh, Gold Travel Credit Card so this card Scotia Passport Visa is in direct competition with the, that card and I have a feeling that most people would prefer this card because of the features uh, so which I'll talk about very shortly okay so some of the main features which they are pointing out uh, pointing out right away is that uh, it gives you airport lounge access, no foreign currency conversion markup, and rewards on everyday purchases. 24 hour 7 customer support, and you have to activate your card. So let's look at the reward structure, which is right here. So with this card, you're going to earn two points on every dollar spent on eligible grocery, dining, entertainment, and daily trans transit purchases, which includes buses subways taxis and more so you're getting double point or uh, one extra point which is two points or two cents per dollar return on this uh, selected category uh, which is okay uh, it's not that it's not a big deal uh, many other cars will give you two points and uh, the one point you'll be earning on everything else which is a short of 
giving you points because uh, you can see the contrast here that this is a travel credit card and it's not giving you any bonus points on travel expenses so that's a reason you may not want to even you know use this for travel uh, spending uh, which will uh, I'll explain you uh, if you don't do that what, what is the point of keeping this card okay so now here they're just you know telling about uh, everything else now as you have may have noticed here that uh, this card has airport lounge access which is uh, which the uh, American Express Scotia Gold card doesn't have it just gives you discounted annual membership fee not even the full membership fee but this card is giving you the annual membership fee free plus six lounge passes so there should be more information in, inside here which I'll talk about it uh, let's I just take a look here so here it talks about that if you're spending 40,000 in purchases annually then you're going to be uh, receiving 10,000 bonus points uh, so it's just uh, for each additional 10,000 in purchases uh, in the same year you learn 2,000 bonus points it's not a lot you know if you're spending $40,000 on one card then you should be getting more than that it's not 10,000 bonus points uh, it's not it's not a much uh, it's not a lot you know it's like hundred dollars so I wouldn't you know this is not a, that great feature to keep customers hold on to this card just for spending just to or make people to spending money on this card instead of other cards so here let's take a look at some other features here so you can apply points to travel feature and you can book okay so this this feature is Scotia has same as with the other credit card which is the Scotia Gold American Express and I like this feature it gives you freedom so what it means that let's say you can either purchase directly from uh, using your card or you can purchase using your points offsetting your cost of the purchase uh, let's say if you have purchased using uh, your card then you pay the bill and then later on you can use your points to you know uh, revert or to pay back those purchases so you will get back money for the travel expenses using points so you can do it either before or after so that's a good feature to have because you know it doesn't uh, force you to use uh, only points or only specific websites to spend your travel money or spend your reward points so you can use reward points to buy uh, something or to book a travel or you can use a credit card to book a travel and then later on you can offset your cost using your points so that's that's a very good feature to have and it has other some other options uh, for example take advantage of our brand name merchandise viewers okay so that's nothing important here uh, one of the features this card is offering that you can convert your points to sin points you can transfer your kosher reward points to sin points so if you like movies then maybe you you can do that uh, so it's up to you it's another you know freedom or another feature or another f flexibility you have now here's the most important thing for which this card has created a buzz on the Canadian credit card market. No foreign currency conversion markup. With your Scotiabank Passport Visa Infinite card, you'll not be charged a foreign currency conversion markup on international foreign currency purchases online or outside of Canada. Only the exchange rate applies. Okay. In Canada, we, we don't have that many uh, no-fee foreign transaction car fee cards. Marriott has pulled out of Canadian market, so Marriott uh, Rewards uh, Visa credit card is no longer available. And there's another foreign currency, no zero foreign currency conversion card we used to have is the Amazon uh, card, Amazon Visa credit card, Ch or Chase Amazon credit card, which is no longer uh, in Canada as well. So by offering this no foreign currency credit card from for Canadians, Scotia Bank is the first major bank in Canada offering this feature. So, for example, if you look at TD, RBC, BMO, or any other banks that do not have any travel credit card which has zero foreign transaction fee. So, what happens when you use other cards uh, to buy something online uh, using other currency than Canadian, or if you go and travel, you pay a 2.5% foreign currency conversion fee and there is a currency exchange rate markup 
So that means they are going to charge you higher than what you're supposed to be charged. The markup can be high enough to make your uh, foreign currency fee cost 3.5% uh, or 3% in addition to the two, uh, in addition to the uh, fee you're already paying. So let's say you're paying 2.5% fee and then the, due to the markup, you're gonna be ending up paying like 3% or 3.5% in total. So this is where this card stands out uh, comparing to other travel credit cards offered by the major Canadian banks because we don't have any other foreign currency uh, no zero foreign currency card in Canada. Now there's another feature which makes this card stands out comparing other credit cards which is right here. Uh, complimentary airport lounge access. So this card is giving you actually priority pass membership and it's giving you actually six visits per year. It's not even four visits. If you look at the BMO World Elite MasterCard, that card gives you the annual membership plus four visits per year. But this card, it's giving you six visits per year, so plus the annual membership. So it's giving you priority plus annual membership and six visits, and that makes it going higher than the BMO World Elite MasterCard. So that's another reason I like this card than the other card which is the BMO World Elite MasterCard. And then here we have for complimentary snacks. Okay, so it's just, they're talking about uh, airport lounges and Avis Preferred Plus membership for those who like to rent car from Avis, but I don't do that. And then here's other features for being Avis. Now, this is a Visa Infinite credit card. So what it means that you are going to have access to all Visa Infinite benefits and uh, you can use your Visa Infinite concierge services to make them look for something, book your travel or basically anything you want. And if you have any other Visa Infinite, con uh, Visa Infinite uh, credit card, then you can use the same uh, profile. You don't have to create a different profile for another Visa Infinite credit card. So having any Visa Infinite credit card will give you this access and this is a great feature to have i use this uh, visa infinite concierge a lot they uh, book um, lots of my trips and they coordinate and arrange lots of my trips and many other things so definitely if i'm having a credit card or office school credit card i i always make sure that you know there is a concierge service attached to it and if that's visa infinite then that's really good so let's move on to here so here they're just talking about uh, Visa Infinite more which I just told you a little bit and what they can do and then there's other uh, Visa Infinite uh, hotel collection uh, benefits so I'm going to go through all these and Visa Infinite uh, dining services uh, Visa Infinite wine country program okay so I don't need to go through all these now let's talk about insurance so this card is giving you lots of insurance, uh, trip cancellation, emergency travel, trip interruption, flight delay, delayed and lost baggage, hotel, motel, burglary, rental car, collision, lost damage, common carrier, travel accident. Uh, now all these uh, insurance benefits, they sound uh, good, they look good on paper. But you have to always look for the provider whenever you're dealing with any travel insurances. For this uh, provider, for this credit card, and also Scotia's other credit card is the Scotia Gold American Express card. The provider is American Bankers uh, Association of Florida. And this provider if you just do a research online, they have lots of complaints and bad reviews when it comes to uh, fulfilling the claims and everything. So for that reason, I wouldn't use this uh, provider for my travel insurance purposes. Uh, so all these insurance benefits, they may look very good, but once you really have to submit the claims or once you need the claim or need the benefit, then is you're gonna have a hard time getting anything uh, from the provider uh, because they have bad reputation or bad uh, rev reviews of not 
fulfilling the claims they have uh, if you just do some research uh, I I don't remember seeing anyone or comments by anyone mentioning that you know they have got uh, their claims from this uh, provider so I would avoid this provider if you are wondering uh, which provider to go for I would say go for providers like you know which are reputable and big uh, provide Canadian providers for example RBC and then RSA TD uh, this kind of provider but for with these providers which have lots of bad ratings and bad reviews always be careful so for that reason all these insurance benefits I don't see you know any points of having them because I'm not going to be using them and if you are using them use them at your own risk uh, because if something happens and in terms you know if you need to do go through the claim then you're gonna have a lot of difficulty with this provider so now we have a uh, Scotia Bank privacy agreement I don't need to go through that then we have some other insurance service or some other information uh, I'm not going to go through those in terms and conditions uh, there's no need to go through that and some other how to redeem point and non travel viewers transferring points okay so it looks like there's some other information uh, which I don't need to go through all of these okay so so here's the insurance uh, certificate and everything and let me just take a look here if you can find something here okay for example what I was telling you just before is that the name of the insurance company American Bankers Insurance Company of Florida so this is the company they're in contract with for this credit card and this company actually has many other Canadian credit cards uh, providing lots of benefits and the reason these credit cards are choosing this provider because they are very cheap uh, you know they don't have to pay them a lot but the fact of the matter is that the reason they can give all these benefits so cheap because you know it's very hard to get anything out of them if you have to submit a claim and if you need to make uh, go through the process it's gonna be really difficult okay so here they're talking about all the insurances and everything I'm not gonna go through these and let's take a look here trip cancellation trip interruption okay travel accident medical emergency okay so looks like uh, there's nothing much in here all of these are insurance certificates and everything so I'm gonna set this aside here for now and let's go to our main introductory letter so this is the main letter you're gonna get from Scotia so Scotia passport visa infinite card welcome to your Scotia visa membership and then here just you know they're talking about again you earn grocery dining entertainment and daily transit two points and other eligible one points and let's take a look here the card is right here inside and I'm gonna go back to the other section of the card so there's not much information here it's just giving you uh, things we already know just one important thing right here which is the annual fee $139 and $0 for one additional card so for Scotia BMO World credit card the annual fee is $150 you're getting for lounge passes and here you're paying $139 and you're getting, getting six lounge patches passes and then the Scotia BMO World Elite MasterCard has 2.5% foreign currency conversion fee and this card has no foreign currency conversion fee so these are the features uh, most people would love to have this card and then let's take a look at our card here okay uh, I'm gonna just go check inside what we have in here okay so looks like here there's not much in here it's just uh, you know all the things they're mentioning again so let's go back to our card so I'm gonna take out this card just one second 
Okay. So here we have the Scotia Bank Passport Visa Infinite credit card. So here's the Visa Infinite logo, and this is a black looking credit card. And it's kind of, it has the, the world, uh, the picture of the world right here. And basically, that's what it, the card looks like. Okay. So I'll set it aside here, uh, or I'll put it in here, and I can do keep it this way. Okay. Okay. So now I have the BMO World Elite uh, Mastercard, which I pay hundred fifty dollars per year. I get a priority pass, free membership, plus four lounge accesses. But I pay four. Uh, I pay 2.5% foreign currency conversion fee. Now with this card, I'm going to be getting six lounge accesses uh, plus a free priority plus membership, and also the lounge, uh, the foreign currency membership uh, conversion fee or foreign transaction fee is zero plus no markup. So definitely, it makes sense for me to keep this card and cancel the Scotia BMO World Elite Mastercard. Now, my BMO World Elite MasterCard actually renews in November. So by November, I'm gonna to have to make a decision. But as of right now, my decision is to keep this and cancel BMO World Elite MasterCard. The only thing BMO World Elite MasterCard uh, is, is different uh, is that their, their uh, concierge services is provided by a third party concierge service, but this is a Visa Infinite concierge service. In terms of concierge service, Visa Infinite offers one of the best concierge services across the globe among all other credit cards. So it makes sense to keep this credit card because of its features. However, for points uh, accumulation or to generate points, I'm not going to be using this card for you know daily purchases or everyday purchases, but I'll be using this card when I go on a trip due to zero foreign currency transaction fee. Because there are other credit cards to uh, generate points if you are doing transactions within Canada. So for that reason, this is not going to be my everyday credit card in Canada or outside Canada. I'll be taking this credit card. Uh, if you have been watching this channel, you know that I have lots of videos on credit cards and points. So if you'd like to know more about, uh, you know, which credit cards or whatever points, then just uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So that's, that will conclude our unboxing and review of the Scotia Bank Passport Visa Infinite credit card. The card just came out five days ago and this is a very new card. And this is creating a lot of buzz on the Canadian credit card market due to the fact that this is the first time a Canadian credit card is offering uh, a major Canadian bank is offering a credit card with no foreign transaction fee and six lounge accesses or six lounge passes which we have never seen before. So th this is a good thing for the customers uh, because that means there will be more competition and I hope to see more credit cards are doing the same thing and hopefully there will be something even better than this credit card. And there's going to be another new credit card with zero foreign transaction fee, which is called the Bream uh, World Elite MasterCard. And hopefully they are coming out soon. I do have another videos on that. And once I have that card, I'll do more uh, videos on that. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.